Hello everybody, this is Kirsten Spitzler. I'm one of the counselors here. In today's video, we're going to take a look at two different high school transcripts. Hopefully by the end of this video, you'll have a better understanding of what your high school transcript is, what goes on it, and how to audit your own transcript so you can make sure you are on track for graduation. So what is a high school transcript? High school transcript is basically a record of your academic accomplishments in high school, it includes all classes you have attempted at the high school level, um, including high school level classes that you may have been able to take in eighth grade, also has some standardized testing information and your CPR certification information. So let's take a look at the most important page of your transcript, the first page. So I'm going to try to use my highlighter so that you can see what I'm looking at because I have a cursor, but I don't think you can see my cursor. This information um, on top here that's blacked out, that's the student's personal information. We've actually used a real life Smoky Mountain High School student's uh, transcript. So that's all personal information. Um, so it includes your name, your address, your contact information, your birth date, um, your expected graduation date. Right now it says undefined because the student hasn't graduated yet. Um, once the student has graduated, if he or she decides to be an early grad, it'll have some type of December date. If he or she decides to be a regular grad, it'll have some type of June date. So um, if you will take a look at the credit history right here. So we're looking at this part right here. So this part lists all courses that this student has attempted um, in starting with eighth grade. So this student actually took a math one class in eighth grade. And as you can probably see up here, um, he or she received a grade of 95, uh, but there's no weighted value listed. And there's no unweighted value listed. That's because high school level classes attempted or completed in elementary school count towards graduation. So the student does not have to retake math one once he or she enters ninth grade or entered ninth grade, but it doesn't count towards the GPA calculations. And the very last column on the right side that says flags, that EU actually explains that there's a legend on um, the very last page of your transcript that explains what every single letter means. So. Left side, you'll see all classes attempted. Um, move down a little bit further, marks. So these are grades that the student has um, gotten for those classes. Um, this student is a sophomore, as you can see, because we only have grades um, for ninth grade and 10th grade. We don't have any final grades yet for classes listed on the bottom. So this student has completed his or her first semester as a sophomore and is currently a second semester sophomore. These classes are still in progress and no grades have been posted yet. So moving over to the weighted and unweighted columns right here. So the number right here tells you how much this grade, the 96th student achieved, how much that counts um, on a weighted GPA scale and an unweighted GPA scale. We're going to talk about that a little bit more, but um, an A in a weighted class is, um, is four points and a, in an unweighted class also gives the student four points, but Right here, the student took an honors class and um, received an A as well. So looking at the weighted column, this um, A counted 4.5 points and unweighted only counted four points. So there's a difference between your weighted GPA and your unweighted GPA. Your weighted GPA gives you more points for honors classes, AP classes, and um, SEC classes if you end up dual enrolling with the community college and unweighted grades um, do not factor any of that in and the highest you know, number of points you can get for an A is a four. I hope that makes sense. Last column right here 
is um, earned credits. So these are the credits that count towards high school graduation. Okay, so let's look at this portion right here. It says, University of North Carolina Board of Governors minimum course requirements remaining. That's a lot. And there's a bunch of classes listed right here. So you do not need these classes to graduate from all of these classes to graduate from high school, but it says um, University of North Carolina. So if you're planning on entering a four year college that is part of the UNC system, then you need to complete all of these classes, which includes your foreign languages and your fourth math. Now, if you're not planning on attending four-year college, you may not want to take foreign languages and you may not want to take a fourth map or a higher map. So those two will actually remain right there in this area right here. And that's, that's fine. That's not a problem. So, but everything right here has to be gone if you're planning on attending a four-year university. Last part, of the first page of your transcript is your performance information. So as you can see, it lists your cumulative weighted GPA, cumulative unweighted GPA, your class rank, total points weighted, total points unweighted, and um, total credits. That's very, very, very small. Um, total credits and total credits towards graduation. So if you want to calculate your own GPA, now PowerSchool does it for you. But we always check because PowerSchool is not perfect. But to calculate your weighted GPA, all you have to do is add up these numbers right here and divide them by the total number of courses that you have taken. And that gives you your weighted GPA. Um, same with your unweighted GPA. Add up these numbers right here, divide them by the total number of classes taken. That gives you your unweighted GPA. So this student, for example, if he or she wanted to know um, what, you know, what his or her GPA would, will be at the end of the school year, the student can just plug in some numbers and just kind of factor them into this um, calculation right here. And that can give you a pretty good idea of you know, what kind of grade you have to get so that you can get a certain GPA. So just a quick summary of everything that I just explained. This is the same transcript we were just looking at. Middle school credits listed right up here. Fulfill the graduation requirement. Count towards your total number of credits, but do not factor into your GPA calculation. All courses that you have attempted are listed on your left, on the left side right here. Grade you've received, weighted value, unweighted value, earn credit, your um, UNC minimum admission requirements and your performance um, information, which includes your weighted, unweighted GPA, as well as your class ranking. So this is the second page of your of a high school transcript. So you have the um, standardized testing information that I mentioned earlier right here and the CPR certification. Um, for some reason, this transcript mentions the CPR certification twice. So we're going to probably have to fix that in PowerSchool. Um, and that's pretty much all that's on this page. Now, if you need a um, certified transcript for um, the DMV or you know, possibly for, um, for you to apply to a college, we would sign it right here, date it right here, and then um, certify it. So this is a different um, high school transcript from a different student who is not only a junior in his or her second semester, so we don't have any grades listed yet for the second part of junior year, but this student also did not take any high school level classes in eighth grade. So the transcript actually starts with ninth grade classes. So that's probably most typical for most of our students. Um, I also want to point out your local elective success prep and the P. Um, so this is your homeroom. So your homeroom um, is on a pass fail um, scale. You don't get any points weighted or unweighted, but you do get a quarter credit. 
So this is the second page um, for a junior transcript. Um, has the same information, of course, than the other transcript. But there's just a little bit more testing information listed here because the student has completed more testing. Um, one thing I want to point out is there's no ACT information listed on your high school transcript. So if you are applying to college, um, you're, you have to actually send those scores yourself because we do not list them um, as part of the testing information on your transcript. So this is the last page of every transcript. This is the um, legend I was referring to earlier. It explains um, our grading and GPA details, what makes up an A um, you know, Smoky Mountain High School. Um, what exactly do these flag means? And then this flags mean, and then this is some information about um, CTE concentrators. So hopefully now that you've actually looked at um, two different transcripts, you understand your grade point average, aka GPA, a little bit better. Hopefully you understand the difference between weighted versus unweighted GPA. Just to repeat it one more time, your weighted GPA takes into consideration your honors, AP, dual enrollment classes, and gives you additional points. And um, your unweighted GPA pretends um, that all your classes were just standard classes, no honors, no AP. You always want to report your weighted GPA unless you are specifically asked to report both or just your unweighted GPA. So this is just another way to look at the grading scale and um, the number of points that it yields on your transcript for unweighted um, and weighted. So as you can see, standard A, um, no honors, just a standard class um, for which you received an A counts four points. Um, if you take an honors class, that A counts 4.5. Um, if that was an AP class or a dual enrollment class, like an SEC class, um, an A actually counts five points. So as you can see, if you take honors classes or AP classes, um, they actually they count more on your GPA calculation. They also hurt you more on your GPA calculation if you don't do as well um, as you thought you would. So. This um, slide right here just gives you a very quick reminder of what graduation requirements are. You will need 28 credits to graduate from high school. You'll need four English credits, four math credits, three science credits, four social studies credits, one health and PE credit, and it has to be health and PE. That's the graduation requirement. Um, and then you'll need 12 electives. So now that you hopefully have a better idea of what a transcript is, what goes on a transcript, how to calculate your own GPA, and what you need to graduate from high school, we would like for you to take a look at your own transcript and do an audit. So what we do in student support when we audit transcripts is we usually um, use a highlighter and highlight all math credits. We highlight all science credits, all social studies credits, all English credits, and health and PE. And that gives us kind of an at a glance of what the student has already accomplished and what the student still needs and if he or she is on track for graduation.